Hey guys, so iOS 26 is now officially available for everyone to download and this is a major software update. There's a lot of new features and changes, obviously the biggest one being the new redesign with liquid glass and there's plenty of features to talk about here. But today I wanted to focus on the top 10 things you're going to want to do right after you update. I think there's 10 essential features here that really make a difference and make your device more personalized. So I wanted to focus on 10 and of course more videos will be coming down the road. Now let's go ahead and start. The first thing I want to talk about is messages because in messages you can now actually customize the background of your conversations this is something to personalize your device so you can tap into the conversation thread tap into the information for the contact and right here you have background options available now you see here you can choose any photo from your camera roll as you can see right here you can choose any of those pictures available to you obviously you have suggestions on the bottom here you also have different color options that are preloaded so Apple added a few options here that you can choose from these are going to be other colors available for the preloaded options there you also have the ability to customize the background using image playground and creating your very own image with the playground tool built into iOS 26 now I love this one so you have sky sky looks pretty nice I think it looks very beautiful here with the sky backgrounds you see available within iOS 26 they're also animated as you can see right there so they do move you see the clouds moving in the background and we have water which is also really nice there's two options as you can see here and last but not least we also have aura so this one obviously is going to be very very beautiful it's the one that I'm currently using but yeah you have different options available to you and now you'll be able to customize those backgrounds on your conversation threads so you can personalize the conversation now not only that but you can also now set polls as you can see right there so if you don't know what you want to eat tonight you can actually set a poll by tapping into the plus icon here scrolling you'll find it right there it is and now you can send your own poll for maybe a group chat you can all vote or perhaps you just want to ask someone what would you like to eat tonight as you can see right here and you can vote by selecting an option just like so so yeah these are two things in messages I think you're going to want to try after you update now you're also going to want to try spatial scenes now this is a brand new feature built into the photos app that allows you to turn any 2d flat image into a 3d image it's pretty cool especially for like family pictures and things like that so let me tap into this image right here this photo a picture of me as you see right here this is a flat 2d image so it's not 3d as you can see there if i move my iphone it's not 3d but you see this icon here on the top right if i press that it will turn that image into a 3D image and now it does a great job at actually mimicking that 3D effect and it looks like I'm in the forefront in the background there you see so let's go back to flat just like so 2D image and again spatial scene 3D image it looks really cool but not only can you do this right here in your photos you can also do this on your lock screen so spatial scenes you can customize by adding a new wallpaper option right here under photos and then scrolling all the way to the right you find all your spatial scenes suggestion photos right here and then you can tap into the photo and customize it to your liking obviously you can stretch the clock and things like that you can just move it around however you want but yeah right there it is spatial scenes the button you can go ahead and make it flat or 3d it looks pretty cool and I really like spatial scenes definitely something you're going to want to try again very nice for family pictures and of course the lock screen customization so yeah two additional options there so this next feature everyone needs to try out and it is under the phone application it's called call screening and basically what this will do it will actually silence calls and it will ask for you the name and the reason for the person that's calling for people that are not in your contact so if you get a lot of scam calls throughout the week this will actually prevent you from being scam number one and number two it would just you know save you the time for having to answer the call and find out it's later a scam and things like that so call screening I think everyone needs to try this out you can find it inside of your phone application filter so go into the calls tap on the top right here and then go into manage filters right here inside of this option right here you have all your filters you know silence unknown callers spam detection silence and there it is ask a reason for calling I've been using this feature ever since I updated to iOS 26 it's a lifesaver it's a time saver and obviously you can avoid a lot of scams using this as your iPhone will ask the person their name and their reason for calling and it is just so convenient so everyone needs to try this one out again you can 
find it under the extension for the phone application inside of settings or you can just manage your filters directly from here. Now the next thing I want to talk about is battery life because I know a lot of you guys had concern in regards to battery life. iOS 26 the first release has pretty solid battery life however if you want to extend that battery life you can go into the battery section here and if you tap into the power mode options you have power mode options at the bottom right here you have this new feature called adaptive power so basically this will throttle some of the activities in the background in order to extend battery life and it also enables low power mode at 20 percent so that you have more battery life in case you're using your battery more than you normally do throughout your day the adaptive power feature will help you with battery management and i think it's a really nice feature to extend the battery life especially with the first releases for ios 26. now this next feature is called on-screen visual intelligence now you can take a screenshot within ios 26 and you have three new options with apple intelligence so you have ask a question highlight for search or image search so let's say you're browsing the internet or social media you see a jacket or perhaps some sneakers that you might be interested in but you don't have the actual product name or it's not tagged so what you want to do is you want to screenshot right and then you can use any of these three options to learn more about what you have on your screen so in this case I took a screenshot of my own screen here and I can use visual intelligence I'm going to use the highlight option to highlight anything here so this icon for Apple intelligence you see there the search results from Google it will give me search results based on what I highlighted and again the same concept applies if you see something like a car or some shoes a jacket yeah on-screen visual intelligence is definitely an awesome new feature built into iOS 26 definitely one of those that you're going to want to try out after you update your device now the next thing I want to talk about is AirPods because oftentimes we forget but AirPods did get an update with iOS 26 you see here some of the new features within AirPods which is charging reminders sleep detection that will pause the media if you fall asleep and you also have the ability to take pictures and videos using your AirPods as well with camera controls now in order to update your AirPods make sure you update to iOS 26 once you do connect your iPhone to a power source make sure it is connected to Wi-Fi and make sure you pair your AirPods to your iPhone and let them sit next to each other for about 20 minutes untouched and once the update is done when you open your AirPods you'll be greeted with this prompt right here and that way you can update your AirPods and now take advantage of these three new capabilities I do have a video breaking down everything that's new within the latest AirPods firmware update and iOS 26 if you want to watch that, I'll link it in the description down below. So this next one is called Auto Mix. This is a brand new Apple Music feature that serves or acts as a DJ for your music within Apple Music. Now, not to be confused with Crossfade from last year, this Auto Mix actually acts as a DJ, mixing the two songs together at the end of each song in order to transition to the next song. And you can enable it, obviously, and disable it inside of Apple Music. I'll show you that here in just a couple of seconds, but it's a pretty cool feature, especially if you're on a road trip with friends listening to music. It's pretty nice. So let's jump into Apple Music here and start playing a song. Unfortunately, I can't play the music due to copyright. You're gonna have to try it out yourself, but let me show you how to enable it or disable it. So tap right here and right there it is. You have the auto mix option right here if you enable it. And obviously that will mix the music at the end of each song to transition to the next song. So let's Let's give it a few seconds here, see if I can actually get this to work and show you what that looks like when it's mixing. So at the end of each song, as I mentioned, it will auto mix the song and transition to the next song. Very different from Crossfade from last year. Crossfade would just fade away the song and start the next one. This one will actually act like a DJ. You see there? It's mixing into the next song. And again, you can enable it and disable it from right here. So yeah, pretty cool new feature for Apple Music. You can try it out, auto mix. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about customization. There's different options to customize your iPhone within iOS 26. We now have a new clear icon mode, which I think looks awesome. Awesome. So if we tap here, you see we have the clear icon look. We can go light or dark mode with this one here. So if we tap on dark mode, that is the dark mode clear icon option, and that is the light option. Now we also have some new additional options within the tinted icon options. The iPhone now detects Apple MagSafe case colors, and you can match the color to your case using this option right here, or you can actually use the color of your iPhone because it also knows the color of your iPhone. Obviously, this is desert titanium. As you can see right there, the 
icons now are dark desert titanium. I can choose light desert titanium or choose the case. If I have a case, the iPhone will be able to detect the color. Again, that's going to be Apple's MagSafe cases. You'll be able to go light or dark mode with that color as well. So yeah, new options to customize your device, I think are worth checking out within the latest iOS 26. There's a lot more to talk about. Obviously, more videos will be coming your way. I just wanted to share these 10 things that I think everyone should check out right after updating to iOS 26. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.